there are there are a couple of uh, well-known genetically modified organisms. So let's talk about corn and soy soybeans, making them herbicide resistant. So there were uh, scientists wanted to find a way. How can we use less herbicides in growing crops? How can we use uh, use less chemicals growing crops? And so these scientists found a way that they could make some crop plants that we were really interested tolerant of the herbicides. And the reason they wanted to do this was not so that they could put these, uh, these, these chemicals on the plants, not the, the weed killers on, the, on these crops they wanted to grow, it was so they could use less. What type of herbicide would they be exposed to? Well, so uh, there's a gene that's it's called uh, that made these plants glyphosate phosphate resistant. So there's a, a Roundup is an herbicide that probably people know the name of, but uh, it's uh, a Roundup ready plant is one that is resistant to the Roundup herbicide. So they're resistant to glyphosate. Yes. Which is the main ingredient in, in the Roundup. Right. That's okay. right. So we put this gene into a plant that that makes it able to be resistant to the to a weed killer. Now this plant, you don't have to worry about getting a little bit on the leaves of the crops you want to grow, and you can kill the weeds. You can cut your dosage of that. You can cut the amount that you use of weed killer way down. And so it's great for the environment. It's great for us. It makes crops grow more efficiently. Uh, it's economically better. Everybody wins. We talked about the herbicide resistant uh, plants. What well, are there? How does how does the insecticide plants work? With GMO. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, so there are some GMO plants that are BT plants. And they're Bacillus thuringiensis, which is uh, it comes from a soil microorganism. But this soil microorganism produces this protein that is toxic to insects. It's toxic toxic to insects because it prevents them from uh, shedding their exoskeleton, so it stops their growth. Well. This is a really great thing because so you put this into plants and now uh, this, these plants were growing these crops formerly the farmers might suffer tremendous losses when they'd have some rootworms come along or some other insect pests that are really damaging to the crops. So now using no chemicals but it's actually making the plant resistant and there's no insecticide here. It's not an insecticide. This is a uh, naturally occurring protein in this soil microorganism. And if I wanted to purify this out of the organisms and uh, spread it around my organic garden uh, to prohibit insects from there, that would be perfectly acceptable. But now we've just got it tagging along in the plant itself. So um, we've saved money for the farmer. We've reduced loss for the farmer. This is a really great thing. And there's nothing harmful to us at all in there. It just stops the insects.